composite figures are just figures made up of a number of the different basic shapes, triangles, circles, squares, rectangles, that kind of thing. Um, you'll see we're going to find the area and the perimeter of these shapes. So for the area, you really just want to break the shape up into different shapes and add up all the areas. You'll see that you might have to subtract once we get to certain kinds of shapes. And for the perimeter, I never like to remember any formulas for perimeter. I simply walk around the outside of the shape and I add up all the sides. Okay, so let's quickly get to our first example. We're going to do the perimeter of this one. And you'll notice, of course, as I walk around the outside of the shape that I am missing this one side here. So we're going to need to find that side. That's how we're going to start here. Okay, so if we look at finding this side over here, then you know, of course, that this whole line is actually 12. But we do need to find just this blue part right here. Okay, if we look at this base of this triangle here, we actually know that that side, that part of it would actually be 6, right? Because 21 minus 15, so that would be 6. So how are we going to find that blue part over here? We're actually going to have to use Pythagorean Theorem to do that. Okay, so if we set up our Pythagorean Theorem correctly, we know that we're going to do 6 squared plus, let's just call that side x squared, equals 10 squared. Of course, 10 has to be the hypotenuse there. So if we just quickly solve that, we're going to get x squared equals 100 minus 36. Okay, so that equals 64. And we'll find out that that height of that triangle is actually 8 then. So let's just put that little measurement 8 in there. And of course, that tells us that this part right there would have to be 4, right? Because the whole side together adds up to 12. So for our perimeter, all we have to do then is just add up all the sides. I do like you to write out the step where you add up all the sides, just in case you make any kind of silly mistakes, then I can give you part marks. Okay, so we had 12 plus 15 plus 4 plus 10 plus 21. Okay, and really quickly we can add that up. And, of course, that equals 62 centimeters. We do have to have units on that when we do add that up together. Okay, so that's nice and simple for the perimeter. Now let's move to the area. So for the area, we can already see that basically we have area of a rectangle in here. You can either call it area 1 with a little 1 like that, or if you want to make it area of a rectangle and use symbols. The key here is that you do describe your shapes and create a solution that I can actually follow. And then here we have our second area of our triangle. Whether you want to write a triangle or a little two, that's totally up to you. Okay, and obviously here when we start to do this calculation, let's do that in red for area. Then as we start to write it out, our area total, we'll use T for total, is going to be the area of our rectangle plus the area of our triangle. So nice and simple for the area of the rectangle. We, of course, know that the rectangle is length times width. So in that case, it's 12 times 15. So you just write 12 times 15. And then we know for our triangle, it's going to be base times height divided by 2. So if we look, the base of our triangle is 6. Okay, the height of our triangle is 8 and it's going to be divided by 2. doesn't matter how many steps you show me after that in terms of how you want to punch that in. You can go straight to the answer at that point. That is fine. Okay, and when we do that, we should get 204. And don't forget our units for area is centimeters squared. Okay, and again, how you set this up is the key. Okay, it's important that you do label your work and show me where you're looking. So here, how I did area of the tri rectangle, area of the triangle. You can do them separately on different sides of the page and then put them together. It's kind of up to you to come up with the method so that it's clear and understandable. Okay, here we go with example two. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. We will start with the perimeter for this one. So again, we're just gonna walk around the outside. So of course we have our 12 plus our 15 plus our four. We need to find this side plus our nine. So in order to find that missing side, let's make this into an imaginary rectangle or and this part being obviously a triangle. Now, just using our simple math and knowing that the opposite side is 12, and this little part up here is 4, this side must be 8. And same thing down at the bottom here, we have 15 minus 9, so this must be 6. 
And just from our previous question that we did, we could do Pythagorean theorem on this, and we would find out that this diagonal is 10. You can look back at the previous question if you need to know how we got 10 there. Okay, so really quickly, let's just go for our perimeter. We would just write out P equals, and we'll add up all the sides. We have 12 plus 15 plus 4 plus 10 plus 9. And that's going to give us a nice even 50 centimeters. Okay, so now let's have a look at the area for the shape. So for this shape, you have a couple of different options. One option, because I drew that imaginary shape in um, as a rectangle right here. Okay, one option, and hopefully you can see it to find the area of the shaded, is that I could take, for my area of my total, I could take the area of the rectangle Okay, and I could subtract away the area of that triangle, and that would leave me with the area of this shaded region right in here. So that's actually, because we did the previous calculations, that that's actually the simplest way to do that, and we actually know some of those numbers already then. We know that the area of the rectangle is 12 times 15, and we know that the area for the triangle is base, which is 6, times the height, which is 8, all divided by 2. Okay, and this time then when I do 12 times 5, I'm going to get, sorry, 12 times 15, sorry, I'm going to get 180, and this time I'm going to subtract away the triangle, which is of course 24. Okay, so when I do that subtraction, I then end up with 156 centimeters squared because we're talking about an area here. So just to let you know that that is one way to do it, I do want to bring up, maybe we'll just go to some red here, that another way to do this one is you could break it up into the shapes of here you have an area of a rectangle, okay, so you could let's say call that area one. You also then have another rectangle over here and you could call it area two and then you could do the area of this triangle right here and figure out the dimensions of that triangle right in there and call that area three and then of course you would be adding them all up together so it kind of depends both approaches should get the exact same answer of 156 centimeters squared thanks for watching your first video and i'll see you tomorrow in class to work on some of these problems